I've been waiting for this. It's the latest episode. I'll use this to teach my naughty students tomorrow. It's late and you're thinking about class? Shouldn't you be paying attention to your relationship more? You should be thinking about ways to keep your skin supple and dressing beautifully. Hey. Hmm. It's the middle of the night. Where can I buy clothes? Girl, are you from the ancient times? Who still goes to the mall to shop for clothes? We shop on the internet now. Here, let me teach you. You should download the VIP.com app. You can go shopping anytime. Here. You're welcome. I'm going to sleep. Bye-bye. Hold on. Come back here. Listen to me. Hugh and Phil should slow things down a bit, okay? Well, to be honest with you, Phil and I were just showing off. As a matter of fact, all we ever did was hold hands and hug. And that's the truth. No freaking way. But aren't you in a hurry to have a baby and all that? Olivia, so tell me, what exactly did it mean when you winked at Jack and Phil's house anyway? We can tell that you're in some kind of relationship. We can also tell that you're the most secretive couple. Hm, good night. Hey! She just left me. Hey, are you busy? It's your day off. Whenever I have days off, I usually post things in Weibo. I'm an important blogger after all. I lose my followers if I don't. You have to be careful, because you can also lose your followers if you post too frequently. Just look at how happy you are. I could almost see you dance. <laughs> I'm busy this morning. Go in at breakfast without me. All right. You're getting too used to this. I'm not asking you for money myself. I'm asking for the sake of your relationship. Now why do you need money for that? Are you blackmailing me? Think about it carefully. After you give me cash, I will be somewhere else, which means you're going to have this place all to yourself. It'll save you money and energy, so just cough it up. Stop making excuses. Now just take this and go. Buy yourself some breakfast. Okay. Hey, hold on. Hmm? What? Hey, what's up? Listen, when you get back, go look at the balcony. If uh -huh. you see there's a flower pot sitting on it, that means I'm at home. Uh-huh. That's the signal. Just stay downstairs for a bit longer. You can come up when the flower pot's gone. Remember, flower pot means I'm home. Great. I just learned something new. You're such a veteran. I'm getting money and advice. Flower pot, huh? Take this outside. After all those classes, you must be tired. Fine, we'll relax then. I'm gonna play you guys a TV show from the US. Whoa. Whoa. That's great. She seems to know the rules, huh? Keep your voice down. She can hear you, you know? No, she can't. I'm happy to. Tell you what, how about you and I find a healthy balance? Excuse me, Miss Lynn. Where'd you get the original episode? Keep watching. Hey, I'd like to confirm something with you guys. Is our old boy alliance still in effect or what? Heck yeah! Long live our friendship! Yeah, I'm telling you right now, whoever we end up dating, the old boy alliance will always be the harbor of our souls. That's right. Oh, and by the way, someone just sent me the best oysters from Australia. I also have the best white wine that you can find. How about it? It's been a while since we last drank. I'm Come afraid on. that I can't stay, you guys. I actually made plans to have lunch with Angel today. You... Yeah, I can't either. I have to go to the school to pick up Olivia. I'm taking her to see a movie later. What? But, but, but it's only been five seconds. Is the old boy alliance over already? But isn't that how it's always been? We swear allegiance to each other, then we break up just like that. You got that right. right? 
My goodness, what in the world is wrong with you guys? I spent the first half of my life with you two around, and now that we're older, you're just going to leave me alone? <laughs> Take After my advice and post a notice in the wanted ads. Say that you're hiring a beautiful assistant, and in half an hour, a ton of girls will be outside your door. Am I that vulgar? You two have been eating in my cafe for free all these years. You've never paid for the bill, and I've never asked you to pay. Now you're both leaving me? I'm really Look, sorry, you guys, but I'm gonna be late. You're I have leaving? To go. Oh, hold up, Phil, I'll drive uh, you. Hey, hey, wait, I insist wait, 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 what right, are you doing? Later, yeah. Are you guys Man, leaving I'm already? Be late. What the hell was that? All right, so after seeing that show, do you feel happy? Yes, Miss Well, that's great. You're about to get even happier. Because based on what we just saw, you'll all be taking a comprehension test. Uh, I knew it. There's just no way we were that lucky. But Miss Lin, you showed us the original episode. There were no subtitles. How does that work? Yeah. You did listening comprehension tests before. Did any of them have subtitles? Anyway, I prepared ten questions. If you answer more than six correctly, then you'll pass the semester's listening comprehension test. But, Miss Lin, the thing is, I couldn't pay attention. The American spoke so fast that I couldn't keep up. Can I just watch it again? Yeah, yeah. Watch, it, watch it again. You don't get second chances for listening comprehension tests. But since this is the first time that I'm giving this class, you can watch it again. Hand in your paper once you are done, and then you can go. Oh, Listen carefully now. I don't have much here, but I can offer you this tea. A student of mine planted it. Oh, thank you. I just came to have a look. I'm curious about Olivia's experience in, in the school. I must have missed it during our interview. I didn't know she was your daughter. I even asked her why she resigned from her job at Walton. Well, Olivia's always been good at teaching, but she's a little too stubborn. <laughs> I believe that she needs some more experience. I have to say, Miss Lin is kind to her students, and her teaching is quite unique. She started a week ago, and she has been doing very well. Oh. Don't worry, I will... Keep an eye on her. Well, if she can adapt herself to this place, I'll make sure she stays and works hard. However, today, I'm not here as her former leader. I came to ask you for a favor, and I am asking, as her father, I'm hoping that you'll be strict with my daughter. Don't treat her differently. No problem. I'll treat her the way I treat every other teacher. They're all the same. <laughs> and besides, it's obvious that you have managed to teach Miss Lin very well indeed. Wow, you're playing Monster Bubbles, huh? You didn't come here for me, am I right? When does your teacher get out of work? Not till late, you're gonna have to wait. <laughs> She's giving the students in English class a listening comprehension test. I'm only out here because I handed in my paper early. A lot of students are still inside taking the test. Hold on, so you had a listening comprehension test? And you handed it in early? Did you finish the test? Or did you leave it blank? Stop worrying about my English. All done. <sighs> That's the difference between us. Keep practicing while you wait for her. See you later. See you later, Miss Lynn. Right, bye bye. See you tomorrow, Miss Lin. You had a long day, huh? Handsome uncle. And what brings you here? Didn't I tell you I was busy? And I told you that I would always wait. <sighs> Are you here for Harry or personal business? Because Harry has been behaving quite well. You don't have to worry. This is personal. I still remember that night you owed me a... We can't talk about that right now. I'm busy, so just go home and wait there. No, I don't think so. I'll wait here, no matter how long. However, 
These movie tickets here can't wait. The show starts in half an hour, and I've been waiting for you for a whole hour now. And who told you that I'd see a movie with you? You bought those without asking me. Yeah, I did, and I'm sorry about that. But still, why don't you and I go and see a movie today? We'll be supporting the local film industry. <sighs> what movie's that? You really sound like a man with a mission. Well, I've been too busy to keep you company. But look, this one's a brand new movie. A really scary, mind-bending movie. Those types of movies don't scare me. And I know that you just want me to get scared so that I'd hug you, right? <laughs> you saw right through me. <laughs> Okay, that's good. Dad, what brings you here? Let's go. Actually, I came down here to meet your president. Oh, is that right? Your mom asked you to come home several times, but you refused. So I came down here instead. Hey, you're off the clock, right? Come home with me for dinner. Let's um, go. I'm afraid I can't. I have something important to do. Hey, I know who you are. Aren't you Harry's father? Tell me, how's Harry been doing lately? So what brings you here? Is everything all right? Hello, Mr. Yuan, Mr. Oh. Uh, Harry's actually doing well. I came here today for a different reason. I asked Harry's dad to come by so we could discuss Harry's learning condition. Oh. So, um, Dad, I'll see you later, huh? President Yuan. So, Miss Lin, about this problem Harry did, I personally checked it using a calculator. 32 times 32, isn't that right? Ding, 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 ding. Huh? Why are you riding this thing? It's such a nice day, so I thought we'd ride a bike. And besides, it's nearly rush hour. We could avoid traffic jams. It's bad for the environment to drive cars. Riding a bike's better. And when you sit on the back, it'll remind you of the good old days when you were still young. Young, huh? You're going to talk. After all, you're nearly bald. Come on, get on the bike. Wow. Hang on tight. It's been a while. Okay. One, go. two, three, <laughs> go. <laughs> Here we go. Woo! I have asked myself, life is not worth living. Even the worst of all. 你知道我在做什么 you don't know what happened, so don't say things like that. So what don't I know then? I just told President Yuan myself. I thought it was good you were gaining experience in his school. Mm -hmm. But I was wrong. Because you don't go there for work. And you don't go there to prove yourself. Because you... You obviously go there to see Harry's father. You're only partly right, Dad. The truth is, Jack did advise me to apply at Utai High School. But all he did was give me the name of the school. I decided to stay there for the sake of my career as a teacher, not to be with Jack. But you don't believe what I'm saying. You're damn right I don't. Olivia, you're Harry's teacher and Jack is his dad. <laughs> That's just mischievous. You were unlucky with love, but how could you date someone that already has a teenage son? 
you, your relationship failed. That's why you had trouble with your career. Dad, you're so arbitrary. Since I graduated, you have been overprotective. Whether I behaved well or not, I could never show the extent of my strengths. I just want to experience the real world, Dad. But I need you to stop holding my hand. Let me go, Dad. I know that, Olivia. Back in Walton, I admit that I utterly failed to protect you. But if you really want to leave and see the real world, then fine, I'll let you go. I respect your decision. But as your father, I simply can't bear to watch you lose your head for love. You are making a big mistake, don't you see that? Dad, I know that you worry about me. Because I was deeply hurt in my last relationship. But I'm not gonna lose my head for love this time. Because now I know the kind of man I want. And the kind of love I want. And the kind of future I want. I've grown up, Dad. I can handle the responsibility now. <laughs> Your dad must be angry. Nah, he's not. He always looks grumpy. Let's see that movie. Well, uh, it's too late now. The movie started ten minutes oh, ago. then... Hey, how about we just forget about the movie and grab ourselves some food? I'll get us something good. Come on. Oh, all right. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, let me take care of that. You two go on ahead. I drank too much. <laughs> See you. <laughs> what are you doing? Stop taking photos and take oh, care right. of the customers, will oh, you? Right, I Come will. on, be a good girl. What's wrong with you? We have customers here. All right, already. Hello there. Welcome. Hi. Thanks. Can we get the bill? Can I help you? Hi there. We would like to start with some fresh vegetables, please. Mm-hmm. What would you like? Anything. With less oil and salt, please. Less oil and salt for her. You're so pretty. Tell me, miss. Do you exercise regularly? Or are you into sports? Well, I do exercise regularly. I do aerobics three times a week. Sometimes I swim. And I box every chance I get. Whoa, you're so not like other women. <laughs> but you know what I think? I think that if you really want to keep fit, you should do more than just exercise. You must also have a well-balanced diet. Be right back. <laughs> All right, now this is our most popular weight loss product. But then it doesn't just control the fat because it also increases your metabolism. You want to try it out? Um, it's okay. Thanks, but no thanks. Three dishes coming up. Oh, hey, wait. I think that weight loss product sounds pretty interesting. Can you show it to me? Yeah, sure. <laughs> well, this product has a complete management system all on its own. This is the slimming tea. Take it twice a day and it'll provide you with all the vitamins a human body needs. Be right back. <laughs> There's more. This one here is the slimming powder. It's meant to be taken after every meal. It's supposed to improve our metabolism. These are both safe and effective. All right, then. The slimming tea sounds good. I'll take a bottle. How much is it? You have to buy them both. It's sold as a set. <laughs> Fine. How much is a set? I'll take one. You're just getting one set? Mm. I'm going to have to try it first to see if it works. It's usually two fifty, but today it's one eighty. Okay. Jack, you don't need to buy it. I really don't need it. It's all right. It's vegetable juice. Just drink it. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing, Rebecca? Didn't I tell you you shouldn't sell things here? He wanted it. I was just explaining what it was. Didn't I tell you not to sell things here? You, you. Tony, Tony. I just wanted to buy these. After all, I'm trying to lose weight. Hey, I'm serious. If I didn't want these, then I wouldn't buy them. Come here, take a look. I think these are really good products. And Wait, I that. just don't. Say no more. These are mine now. Do you have any fresh vegetables? 
Could you please make a few dishes for me and my friend here? Sure, we have fresh vegetables. And your friend is... Wow. Hello. <laughs> you are such a pretty girl. So is she. Oh, she's my girlfriend. She's your... Oh, is she really your girlfriend? <laughs> oh my. You really do have good taste, don't you, Jack? Now that you're older, you deserve to have a girlfriend. And a stable life. And she is really pretty. I know exactly what I should make for you. I'll cook some light dishes with fresh vegetables. How about it? <laughs> Sounds <laughs> Thanks, good. Tony. Thank you, Tony. Uh, so how much did you pay for these? Just forget it. I really wanted them. Now get cooking. I'll get you your money back. Rebecca, you're going to have to give Jack his money back. You got that? Now, why in the world would I do that? I mean, I earned that money fair and square. And it's not like I forced him. He wanted to buy it. And besides, who would want to buy a returned item that's just bad for business? Come on, Rebecca. How many times did your mom tell you not to sell products in the restaurant anyway? And why don't you ever listen to her, huh? Tell me something. Are you really not going to stay at home now? Dad, why do you have to scold me like Mom does anyway? It's bad for business. Can't you just support me? I'm sorry, but I can't. This is my restaurant. And my restaurant has rules, all right? But I'm begging you, Rebecca, please. I just need you to give Jack his money back, okay? No way. You're refusing me? Do you really believe that I won't kick you out of my restaurant? <gasps> Strange family. The father's polite, but his daughter Rebecca isn't. Oh, are you finished? A How mom spoils her son, and a dad spoils his girl. That's a fact. Hey, you know Phil told me that this was your dining hall. So I take it you're close to this family? We are much closer than you can even imagine. I noticed you were very patient with that girl. It's not just because of her father, am I right? <laughs> Why do you sound so jealous, Olivia? Here, have some water. Seems like you need to calm down. I'm not jealous of her. Besides, Rebecca is not your cup of tea. You're right. I'm glad you know that. And besides, the girl who likes me has really impeccable taste. That was a good one. You know what? I'll take those products back. Here's your money. Oh, no, 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 no. Forget it. You don't need to do that. You already sold it to me. So why would you get it back? Keep it. Then, would you kindly tell my father that you didn't want a refund and I had nothing to do with it? Okay? Okay. Enjoy. <laughs> hmm. You know what? You were extremely patient with that girl. And if you don't have a crush on her, then she's got to have some dirt on you. How about I explain our relationship to you, huh? Oh. But after the meal, the food's getting cold. Come on, eat up, enjoy the meal. After all, he made them for you. All light dishes. Why do I feel like I'm walking straight into the Devil's Slayer? And just why do we have to talk at home? When you came here before, you were energetic. So why are you acting like a lamb now that you're in a relationship? What are you talking about, Jack? Why? Would you still like me if I were a vixen? Come on. Sit down. I'll introduce you. Introduce me? This is my mother. I want you to meet her. Hey, Mom. This is Olivia. I brought her home to meet you. Hey, Mom. She's beautiful, right? Hello, Auntie. <laughs> your mother's gorgeous. But where's your father? My dad? Well, he's the owner of that restaurant we were in. I heard that he's my real father, and that he abandoned my mom and I when I was three. 
He was gone for 30 years. And then he suddenly appears and opens up that restaurant in the neighborhood. Should I recognize him? So that old man is your father? And he opens a restaurant near your apartment? It's just like a movie, isn't it? So the girl who sold you those products was... My sister. From another mother. Oh, Jack, could life possibly be more dramatic? When did you figure this out? Recently. Why don't you recognize him then? Because ever since I was born, I had no concept of a father. Never even thought about looking for him. I didn't know what having one felt like. The truth is, I had never experienced to become a father either. So when Harry first arrived, I didn't know how to be a good father. But as time passed and I got on well with Harry, I got to know what it was like to become a father. Now that you know what being a father is like, and now that you know who your father is, then why don't you recognize him? I think it's much better if I just watch from a distance. After all, it's been years, and instead of quarreling with him, I would much rather that he sees me as his friend. So whenever I miss him, I could just go see him at the restaurant. I think this is the kind of arrangement that my dad would want anyway. Your mother taught you to be so sensible, so she must have been a reasonable woman. By that you mean my mom spoiled me, am I right? Well, to tell you the truth, my mother was not very strict with me, because she was so busy all the time. I was usually alone, but then whenever I made a mistake, she'd get very strict. She couldn't have been worse than my father. I grew up under his influence. As President O's daughter, I had to be the best. After all, I was the President's daughter. My dad expected me to be better than the other kids. That's why ever since I was a child, I wanted to be a teacher, but not the kind of teacher that my dad was. You know you should be grateful to your dad. After all, it was because of his influence that you didn't go astray. Every day you're getting closer to achieving your dream. <laughs> and speaking of, your father, I wanted to say sorry for making him unhappy today. Oh, that's all right. Dad's always grumpy. He'll be okay in a few days. Harry came here months ago, and I've tried to be his father ever since. And to tell you the truth, I find it really hard to be a parent. They say that you don't know hardship until you have a child. That said, I think you should try to understand your dad. Mm, try not to be so rude to him. But I do understand my dad. All that I'm hoping for is that I get the two of you to accept each other as the men that I love. You have great qualities, and I want him to see them. So I'm one of the men that you love? And trust me, I will do whatever it takes to make him accept me. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Hold come it! On. Where are you going? Get back here. Uh, well, I, I just don't think that I, I should be here right now. Why don't you just come back later? Your timing's a little off. You're not supposed to be here. So why are you? Uh, Speak up! You're just going to get angry. Am I? What's that? Fine. Where is the flower pot? Shouldn't you have put it out? That's supposed to be the signal. Did you forget about our deal because you got a little too excited? How could you be mad at me? Huh? Tell me. Fine, I forgot about it, all right? Zivrit. Will you two just stop it? What is he talking about? I'll see you later. I'll see you later, stepmother. Hey, I won't call you that at school, I promise. Don't be late for class now. Mm -hmm. See you later. Now, why did you have to call her that, huh? I mean, you made her face turn red. Oh, good. 
So that's what you were looking at, huh? What a smartass. He's really starting to worry me. <sighs> <laughs> what are you doing? How do I look? You like it? You like it? Do you like my new dress? Whoa. Look at I was shopping today. You bought so many things. You earned a lot again, huh? I'm starting to pity your clients. They pay a lot for you, don't they, Angel? It's from VIP.com. You can buy whatever you want on installment. It takes time to make a lot of money. But my beauty simply can't wait. By the way, <sighs> tell me honestly, do I look thinner now? Tell me the truth. <sighs> Why don't you lift up your dress? You're annoying. Jack's a bad example for you, hmm? Hey, tell me something. How are things going on with Jack? Well, let's just say that I don't have to worry about my figure. I may feel it. Oh my, that feels great! I guess aerobics really does help. Really? Your muscles feel tighter. Not bad, huh? Mm. Oh, on top of exercise, you should pay attention to your diet. Take it. What's this thing? That thing? Well, that is made from fruits and vegetables. I heard that it helps your muscles grow. It's got vitamins. And don't worry, it's harmless. Are you sure that it's harmless? Mm-hmm. Really, but it doesn't have a batch number. This is an unqualified product. There's no way. I heard a lot of artists use this product, and I think it's okay. The ingredients are edible. <sighs> My goodness, you really don't read the news, do you, Olivia? Listen, products like that are unqualified. They'll make you fat and leave you in poor health. Who is it from? From Jack. Well, Jack's sister. Since when did Jack have a sister? So, Miss Wong. Yes? For a whole year now, you've taught class one. Mm-hmm. Um, would you mind telling me exactly what is wrong with Harry Shao's father? You mean Jack? That's the most popular issue on campus. Huh? You see Harry as a boy. With a pretty good learning base, it's no secret that before his mother died, Harry was actually one of the top students in his class. Mm -hmm. But after moving in with his father, who is an airline captain, oh. Harry began to fall behind. Oh. He was often late, and he didn't bother to do his homework. No. I have a feeling that Harry's father is the reason why Harry's been falling behind. It seems that one's environment really does have an effect on a person. I see. Transfer completed. Check it out. What? The money I borrowed. Oh. Come on, man. Just check your phone. If you forget and I get it back, I'm not gonna say anything. <laughs> Where's my tab? Your IOU? I had it mounted on my wall. Right on. So. How are you getting on with Olivia? Hey, you saw us, didn't you? We're the same. Why are you such a gossip now? Hey, I'm not a gossip. To be honest with you, I'm just really grateful, all right? If you hadn't taken Olivia away, I couldn't have had Angel. In fact, we kind of regret not meeting sooner. Do you know where we go on dates now? Where else, man? You go to places that are meant for couples. No, you're mistaken there. She and I actually go to furniture markets. And we shop for decorations and all that. You know what? I never expected a smart lawyer like her to be such a homemaker. You know what I'm talking about, right? Look at you. Hmm? You're obviously in love. <laughs> there was unrestrained joy in your face, Phil. <laughs> now look at me. I'm so calm. You can't tell the difference from my face. <laughs> You're just great, Jack. You really are. When you're getting on well, I'm always relieved. Oh yeah, so is Wendy still chasing you? Well, she hasn't contacted me in days. Wendy. I had a feeling that box was yours. 
Oh, Chief, I didn't know you were still here. I've been waiting for you to take it. You behave suspiciously. Tell me, and don't lie. What did you put in the box? It's actually cancer medication for a friend of mine. It has to be refrigerated, so I used the refrigerator. All of you use the refrigerator to store personal items. Whenever you stored ice cream or cakes or what have you, I would simply turn a blind eye. I didn't mind. But this is completely out of line. Listen, Chief Steward. I'm bringing this back for a friend. I'm trying to save his life. Could you please just let it go? I'm gonna let this pass, but just this once. Oh, sir! Yes? The bill, please. Coming. You got it. I'll take care of it. Hey. How much is it? Uh, 35. 35. Thank you, sir. Here you go. Great. Thanks a lot. Thank you. All You're right. welcome. You take care now. Come again. Mister? Yes? You know this eggplant dish you made tastes really special. Is it some kind of family recipe? Not at all. To tell you the truth, it was cooked in the normal way. You like it? Then all the more reason to come and visit our restaurant. Let me go get some rest. Hello? I'll wash those later. Oh, hi, Wendy. <laughs> no, no need to rush. Actually, I'm just having some lunch at the restaurant downstairs. When I'm done, I'll head straight upstairs, and I'll be sure to leave a message for Jack. I'll wait for you in your apartment, okay? All right, then. You have the keys to my place, right? You can wait for me inside. Thanks. Oh, by the way, <laughs> did you have any trouble buying my medicine? I hope it didn't cause you problems at work. Oh, don't worry. I'm fine. No problems here. You know what, I have to admit I do feel really bad that I can't tell Jack about what is going on, and I'm so sorry for involving you in this. Oh, don't say that, Auntie Wen. I'm more than glad to be of help. All right then, I guess I'll see you later, huh? Bye. Uh, excuse me, Bill, please. Coming. Uh, I can take care of that. Okay then. Just How much there. is it? Um, 30 you one. Here, keep the change. Okay. Thanks a lot. Wasn't she a little suspicious? Uh huh? She didn't seem to be your average customer. She was asking too many questions. Hey, look, you're rich. Uh, something wrong? Is she an old lover? You mean mine? What are you talking about? I've been away for 30 years. And even then, few people knew me. Well, now, that's just weird. If you ask me, she sounded like a spy. Have you gone crazy? If you don't believe me, go ahead and ask her. What the heck? Where's Rebecca, anyway? I haven't seen her. Playing with her slimming tea upstairs. You're a liar, do you know that? When she was little, you told me that we'd be happier when Rebecca was grown up. But now that she is, she's even more trouble than before. Listen to yourself. <laughs> when she was away, you missed her to no end. And now that she's back, you're complaining. Are you sure that you're her mother? Because you're acting more like her enemy. Goodbye, Miss Lynn. Goodbye. Miss Lynn, Miss Lynn, could you hold on for just a second? Uh, are you going to, See you later, to my Lynn. house today? Because if you are, I could always be somewhere else. You mind the way you speak to me at school? Hey, let me put it this way. Jack just happens to be free today. How would you like to have a little discussion with him about the future of my education? I'm busy. <laughs> no more jokes about that. But who's joking? You know you're always welcome in my house. See you later, Miss Lynn! Hello, Mom. What's up? Olivia, how would you like to come home and join us for dinner? You want something? So no. Sweetie, just
Just listen to yourself. I know you're angry with your dad, but what does that have to do with me? Come on, Olivia, it's the weekend. Look, you were too busy to come home last weekend, so the least you could do is to come home and have dinner with us tonight. I'm not coming home until my father changes his arbitrary behavior. Oh dear, do you even hear yourself? You're just as stubborn as your father, Olivia. Hey, you know something? Just this morning, your father had asked me if we could make some fried lotus roots for dinner, and I'm sure you know what that means, right? Tell me, dear, whose favorite dish is that? It's yours, isn't it? Believe me, this can only mean one thing, dear. This means that your father has finally made a concession, so don't go too far. All right, Mom, but just for dinner, okay? If Dad starts lecturing me, I'm leaving right away.成为你的远方。